Sure. <laughs> good question. That's a great question. So um, this is my second book, uh, Chloe's Vegan Desserts. It's all desserts. So some of you know my first book was everything uh, from appetizers to soup to noodles and pizza and cupcakes, but this is just the desserts, uh, which is my favorite part of every meal. Uh, I was just telling someone that I eat dessert before every meal, after every meal. It's a topic that's very dear to my heart. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you guys. I tried to take almost every recipe um, that I possibly had in me and put it into an easy, accessible form. Um, so hopefully you guys will find the desserts easy and um, good for impressing people that maybe haven't tried vegan desserts. Awesome. So how did you get your start in the culinary arts? Okay, well, uh, I was in college at Berkeley in California and I was studying sociology and dance. And I didn't know what I was going to do when I graduated, so my mom said, why don't you go to culinary school when you graduate? So I thought that was a fabulous idea. <laughs> so after I graduated college, I moved to New York, and I went to the National Gourmet Institute um, in Chelsea, New York, and I did the chef's training program, and it was so much fun. It was six months of just cooking and eating 24-7. I loved it. Um, and I just fell in love. Like Even after class was over, I'd come home, and I'd be experimenting in my apartment. I just couldn't get enough. So that's when I started working on my recipes and the books and then Cupcake Wars and everything and I never looked back. So how, so how has your life changed from being on Cupcake Wars and winning? Oh, it was, uh, it was a really fun experience. Um, I think it was just a great opportunity to show people that vegan baking can mm -hmm. taste even better than non-vegan baking. Uh, so that was a perfect platform to do it. Great. So how does this book differ from your other book? Okay, so this is all desserts. Um, so. You know, in the first book, I skimmed the surface of desserts, picked out a few of my favorite, but this really gets in deep, everything. Okay. I, there's a chapter, one of my favorite chapters in the book is called Dessert for Breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, every, yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> we wake up, you need something sweet. You <laughs> boys won't be as thin as you are. You will, you are, yeah. No, it's great. I mean, I, I always like something sweet in the morning. My mom taught me that, um, so my there's pumpkin cinnamon rolls, which I can eat a whole pan of, uh, chocolate babka, donuts, chocolate donuts, muffins, everything that I love to eat. Basically, everything in this book I love to eat. Nothing went in this book that I don't like. Uh, so I hope you guys like it too. Oh, cool. So do you have any advice for anyone that wants to be like a vegan chef or baker? Definitely. Uh, if you want to, I mean, I would say whatever you want to do, just do it. <laughs> Don't wait for a time to do it. Just do whatever you want to do. So my mom always taught me, she's back there. Uh, <laughs> my mom always taught me that, you know, nothing is impossible. She's the most optimistic person that I know. Sometimes almost too much when it just seems unrealistic. But she always keeps the most positive mentality that whatever you want to do, you can do. And I've really come to believe it. So if you are... Uh, young and you want to go to culinary school or whatever you want to do, just do it. When I was studying in Berkeley, I was trying to decide what to do for my internship for that summer. And um, all my friends were working in research and law offices and med school stuff. And I really, I just wanted to bake vegan cakes. So, so <laughs> I called up a vegan uh, restaurant in San Francisco called Millennia, which is my favorite restaurant. And I asked to speak to the sh pastry chef. And I had done nothing at this point, And I asked um, if I could come in and just help or watch, and she said, absolutely not, and hung up the phone. And then I literally went in there, and I spoke to her in person, and I begged her to just let me kind of stay around and watch um, just for a little bit, and then she ended up liking me, she let me help her for one day, I passed the test, and so then I was working there. But the point is, you just can't take no for an answer. Whatever you want to do, you can do it, you just have to be persistent. All right, that's great. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Those are great questions.